Well, hi everybody. I am in my kitchen and I'm standing in front of my spice cupboard. I am going to declutter, organize, and clean it out for you today in hopes to inspire you a little bit before the end of January. Not that you can't declutter throughout the rest of the year um, because I definitely do, but I just thought it would be good to go through that again. I decluttered and organized and re decanted everything in a video for you about three years ago and it's maintained its sustainability quite well over that span of time. I love these spice jars. They are from Amazon. I'll link them in the description box for you, but I really like those. And the labels I got, I think from Holler a while ago, if I didn't have those labels, I just used my label maker to put some labels on there. But I'm also going to reorganize and clutter some extra spices I have up above my microwave because there's, I'm sure, some expired things, things I just don't use that I need to get rid of and go through. So I thought I'd bring you along today as I tackle this cabinet while my girls are taking a nap. So I probably have about half hour left or 45 minutes. Let's see what I can accomplish here. to maintain a visibility of your spices. So on this shelf, I have more of the Mexican and Hispanic style spices, like chili powder, paprika, stuff like that. And then below I had more of the tie-in seasonings. So um, use little things you find out thrifting. Just flip the crate upside down and make it work as a shelf. Okay, so this is my second shelf, and there's a few things in here I know I need to get rid of. So, check this out. This DF was a roommate of mine in college over seven years ago. It is time to throw that away. And then, let's see, poppy seeds, they look like they're kind of wet in the bottom, so I'm going to undecant that, toss that out. I just use this Redmond Sea Salt all the time, so I don't think I need this salt one anymore. And then I don't use these salt and pepper shakers, so I think I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to look for another salt and pepper shaker because I don't always like to have these out when we have guests over. Okay, the rest of it is pretty good still. So, so then if I do dump this poppy seed out, I could put my dill seed in there. Um, pumpkin pie spice, for instance, will go probably above my microwave because that season is over. And then I'm just going to leave these in these jars because, because I am. And I don't have any more of these left other than the ones that I'm going to dump out. So um, here's the second shelf look. Again, that wooden box. I will be putting some things back in there and obviously have a little bit more space now that I will be getting rid of a few of those super expired um, seasonings or ones that don't look so great. One more thing. Here are the stickers of the ones that I have used from holler um so i don't i don't have all of these obviously um which is okay but i'm saving them for if i ever do <laughs> okay to the top shelf this is mainly mason jars that i have so like cocoa powder, some baking things, some baking things I have in a different cover. Um, my baking soda, baking powder, arrowroot powder, vanilla. So that I just really need to wipe down. I know there's nothing in there that I need to actually get rid of. So another reason to go through here is to know what I need to stock up on again. One of my spices, like my Italian seasoning, was empty. Cornstarch is empty. Arrowroot powder, almost empty. So, I mean, cornstarch and arrowroot powder are similar, but 
Um, I do use arrowroot powder. Brown sugar is almost empty. Um, I think I have extra cocoa powder, but again, just to look at it and be like, oh, I need to refill those or go buy some more. All right, so that took me 10 minutes. Not too bad. So I love my first shelf. Like I said, it is just very um, simple to see everything that I have. The second shelf is a lot more um, open. I did decide to save this salt and just use it up. And then top is good. And I had a little more brown sugar that I could refill. So I just had to put those other things on my list. Okay, so I'm gonna take you over here to this squeaky upper cupboard. These cupboards are always awkward, but I will show you what I have here. Obviously did have more cocoa. I'm gonna add that to my jar. Now in here, I have a lot of extra spices and my um, Nox gelatin from making my homemade gummy bears. And here are my little containers I use to make those. I've done those in a couple videos that you've seen before. If not, I'll try to link the video in the description box for you. Now these yeast, Best by August 2015. I had that in college or right after college. I don't know if yeast is still good after that long, but I think it's safe to say I can still find yeast packets pretty affordably. I'm gonna toss those. These are, I wanna say sprouting seeds. I used to sprout a lot, so um, I've had these since college too, so I think I'm gonna just find new seeds if I wanna sprout. Less in here, I just put more of the baking spi extra spices right there. And I got rid of just a couple of seasonings. This is an unopened ground cumin. I'm just gonna donate it to our food pantry. It's still good for another year and a half, but I already have a half open ground cumin and I'm not gonna go through that much. And if so, Great Value is a cheap brand anyways. So this looks so much better, a lot more space in here. I used my label maker previously already to put that on there. Um, I'll keep this in this container and stick them back above. Okay, so there you have it. It took me 20, 25 minutes to go through that, toss a few things, wipe it all down, and just straighten it up a little bit. So I am happy to have that done and happy to maintain a nice, pretty streamlined spice cabinet and just keep it organized. So hope you are inspired to just declutter for half hour today, whatever time you can make even if your kids need help. This is something I probably could have had my oldest two and a half year old help with, but I got it done and it feels so good to have that cleaned. So just get it done if you've got the time. All right, I love you guys. Talk with you in the next one.